what up guys and gals this is your boy here rockfit 40 guys guys it is saturday and um i'm here out here uh, at my truck i'm about to do some work on my trailer on the um on the air spring assembly and um this is what it looked like this is what actually push pushes the um pushes your your uh your tandem pins out and in in and out i guess um so guys i'm gonna just demonstrate it's very simple all you gotta do is release um all you gotta do is slacken one of the um there's one airline going to this just one airline and maybe like a few uh, pins and that's it it's, it seems to be pretty easy to replace so um, I'm gonna see I'm gonna see how easy it is to come off on my tr on my trailer <sighs> uh, so that is what if you can see it that's what it that's um that's what it looked like and um that's just a little uh, airline that's the little blue airline that goes attached to that so pretty much that's it and look from this side right here you got a little pin right here it's holding holding it from this side so it should be pretty simple hopefully I don't run into any problems trying to slacken it up um, yeah guys so guys I'm gonna keep you posted um, stay tuned okay guys this is um this is the old one I just took out. As you can see, I had a hole right there. It was leaking air right there. And um, I heard when I went to the, um, I, I went to the, I stopped at the, uh, the truck stop and um, I realized I was hearing a leaking noise, a leaking uh, air noise. So, you know, started to look and investigate to see where the air was coming from um, the air was actually coming from my valve inside um, inside the cab but um, you know once I stopped the truck I just walked the whole truck and I was trying to figure out where the leak was coming from because it had was to be coming from somewhere so I, ch I checked the truck and then I walked all the way uh, to the axles the rear axles on the trailer and um, I realized um, this assembly right here um, uh, was leaking. So guys, I'm gonna try to install it. This is the new one right here. And um, this piece right here, guys, I had to take this off. I had to take it off the old one. So I'm gonna put it on the new one because I don't think I had, I don't think one of these came with a new one. So I had to take it off. So I already took it off the old one put it on to onto the new one right here I'm gonna put this on right here I'm gonna just tighten it up once I put it up and um, hopefully that that should fix that and then connect the lines back guys and we should be good to go so stay tuned Okay guys, um, I have the new one installed and um, all I need to do is put this, um, attach this airline back right here like that and 
the only thing you got to really move guys is the airline and um there's some you see that little pin right there uh you have to um to put that pin in place and that pin actually locks locks it in place guys it has one it has one right here and it also has one on the other side i'm show you guys That's one right there as well. Just gotta make sure that is installed. So the next thing I gotta do guys is, it's just tight space under here guys. So the next thing I gotta do is just put this line. Let me double check. Um, put this air line back up right there. First. guys if you look at it right now I'm complete it's completed um, I just cranked my truck up and I let the air I release the air back here Woo. the fuck is that but yes guys I release the air back here and um just push these little pins right here. I just push these little pins right here on. Make sure they're holding real tight. And um, that's pretty much it, guys. So um, this is how you replace this assembly right here. I gotta get a, the right name for it. So I don't know if you could see, it's kinda dark. Let me get my flashlight. Okay guys. I'm just trying to get this flashlight so you guys can see. That's it right there. That's that old um, silver pin right there. So everything looks like it's good and no more leaks. So now I'm gonna just walk to the front and I'm gonna make sure that um, I'm gonna go inside a cab and I'm gonna make sure that I'm not getting any leaks um, I'm on my valves, coming from my, um, my valves, my air valves from inside the cab, so. So this right here is complete. Okay guys, I'm inside the truck right now and I already uh, completed um, I already completed a job. So the problem I was having right um, on my way back from Orlando, I realized I was hearing a, um, a, a, a air leak kind of like a seeping noise coming from um, coming from my valves right here so seeing that I replaced um, my assembly back there what I'm gonna do I will um, engage my um, release my uh, brakes make sure it's in neutral so and I'm gonna see if I'm getting a leak Seems like the problem is fixed, guys. Um, and um, there's no more air leaks coming from inside the cab, 
coming from my valves. So this this is a um, a job well done. Um, money saved. Money saved, guys. This is what it's about. Certain things you could do for yourself. Um, you could go ahead and do it and save yourself that money. I was actually going to call my um, my trailer guy, um, the guy that I used to uh, work on my trailer and do thing, do what, do anything that I want him to do stuff that I need to get done you know he I could just give him a call he's here locally you know cool cool guy so um so this is it guys this is it I'm about to head back to the to the house right now So, guys, if this video is helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe. Yep, the air spring. It is the air spring. <coughs> the air spring assembly, guys. So, like, comment, subscribe, guys. Show me some love. This is your boy Rockfish Forty. And once again, I hope this video is helpful to someone out there who probably trying to replace um, their uh, air spring assembly in the back there for, uh, for your uh, tandems. So guys, peace and I'm out.